Welcome back to another Plastic On Review! Woohoo! Now you can fight mighty battles with Triaxe and the Therox army! Recently, the minor battle skirmishes between these two countries erupted in full-scale war. Hundreds of land and air combat vehicles battled across the land. With their huge fighting machines, they staged the most massive battles ever! The largest armies in the world are in your hand. Take command! Megaforce, brought to you by Kinder. Some assembly required. Vehicles, separately. Welcome back to another Plasticon Megaforce review! Today we're going to cover some more crazy goodies of the aerial style. I'm talking the Rock VTOLs. Here's Rock's VTOLs, and these things are very deserty, camouflaged looking. One of these smaller scout vehicles here has got some decent molding going on here. You got some really, really cool riveting going on throughout the entire body. Not to mention just the shape of this thing. It's very weird. It's got like these inverted wings going on here on the back. And it's got this nice gray, kind of a bluish gray camo going on, along with this nice teal. Like, not a, not a teal, but a tan. Like, tannish. Tan. Tan. Yeah, tan. Teal. <laughs> yeah, here. It's also got these little wings here that move back and forth. It's got little teeny tiny guns molded into them. It's just so cool that they're able to mold something that small. I mean, this stuff is like the head of a pin, literally. Very neat. I do like the cautionary straps they got going on here on the front fins. It does have two sets of landing gear, not to mention the uh, little peg gear that you, you would normally use. And it's got this thing here on the back which really reminds me of something that I've seen before on aircraft carriers a little hook thing so it's really neat that they actually molded something like that in it. Now he is completely die cast the only thing that is not die cast are these little bitty plastic wings and I haven't really seen many on the aftermarket missing these wings but then again I wasn't ever really rough with my toys and some kids weren't either so these guys are really really cool there's a lot of heft to these things and not to mention just the crazy amount of detail this thing has. I mean, look at the panel lines. It's just nuts. Anyhow, let's move on to the big guy. Here is the Command VTOL, which is obviously pretty much identical to the other one, except for it's just got larger wings. They do move as well. And they got like this crazy little thing here on the back that kind of helps pull it out even more. The body itself is actually identical. Just these wings here really make it look different. And the last time I saw some VTOL stuff like this was in the movie Avatar. But then again, a lot of you guys probably go back and think of maybe the movie Aliens. And that's where I normally remember seeing VTOLs from. And what people want to know what VTOL is. VTOL is a vertical takeoff and landing. That is what it stands for. And it's very cool. I do like these a lot very Harrier-esque vehicles. And speaking of which, they actually come with a little landing pad that they would land on. It actually has little gun emplacements as well. And it's very cool that this is a neat little set. And if you do purchase these guys, they do come as a set just like this. It comes normally in a blister pack with a cardboard backing. You cannot really remove them without destroying the blister pack itself if you do try to find these guys brand new in the package. But the, uh, the, the little landing pad itself has got three sets of cannons, one on each side. And this rear looks like the platform where they would actually come up on maybe like an elevator or something to get in. It does have little, three little pegs here to be able to make it stand up. Which I remember when I was a kid, I would actually take these and kind of bury them down inside the dirt a little bit and 
they would stay there and they wouldn't move and you'd be able to just take off and land just fine and not worry about it moving around at all. That's what was really, really cool about a lot of the smaller vehicle sets. They always came with some type of little plant, little battle platform or some way to interact your vehicles with that if you didn't have any of the other vehicles to interact these with. They all come with the little pins on the bottom so that you can successfully put them on like a vehicle like Trident or the Strato Fortress that comes with these guys that's rocks large vehicle any of those it would actually work with so anyhow this has been plastic one this has been yet another mega force review i'll see you guys around because i got more bye